Hey, what's up everyone? It's Nate from Adrenal Van. Uh, today, had this ProMaster for a couple years now. It's got like 87,000 miles on it. Uh, some of you might have ran into this issue where the side door won't open. I had it happen to me a few months ago. Uh, I'm going to do a video here to show you what my problem was. Hopefully it'll help you out with uh, figuring out why your side door won't open on your ProMaster. Uh, the van I have here is an extended wheelbase, high roof. Uh, it's been pretty good overall. Had this problem happen last winter. I uh, went to open the side door and nothing would open up. Uh, so what I had to do with it, van's a little messy right now, you can see I'm a contractor here, uh, was this latch actually right here is what holds the door shut. Uh, on it, if we go into the inside view of the door, you're gonna see a few cables here. Uh, these cables come over from the handle. There's a couple of them here. One of them goes down to a latch down at the bottom of the door. Another one goes back here to unlock the door, and a third one also goes back there to open the door. Uh, so with that, the problem I had with mine is, if you can kind of see back there, there's two little linkages. There's one on the bottom and one on the top there. The one on the top actually locks and unlocks the door. The one on the bottom is the one that opens the door. Uh, what I ended up having to do with mine is... Uh, the guts in here on the inside of this thing actually broke. So what I had to do, if you take a look at the one I have, kind of orient it the same way here. This is the way it was on there. And the bottom one's, again, the one that actually opens up the door. Uh, the side view here, this, see this is all sealed right now. Uh, to take it apart, you actually got to take it off the door. The only challenge is if the door won't open, you can't get the screws out because the screws are for the latch over here. Uh, if you take a look, I ended up having to take a screwdriver and a hammer and bust that whole mechanism apart. Uh, once I did that, I did that while it was in place. From there, I was able to figure out which one was the bottom one, or as far as the one that opens the door. You can see that bottom one there. I'd take my hand and actually, I'll demonstrate it here, shut the door real quick. <coughs> that bottom mechanism there, if you hit that one, it takes a little effort that opens up the door there so that's what I had to do once you get the door open you can replace that whole assembly it's about the only solution I was able to find for it that assembly you take a look at it here it's got a couple torque screws on it but it just comes right off the new one goes right back in uh, I had to get it from a dealership with that the cables and everything are included so it does give you an extra set of cables um, and they connect again on the back side of this door. You run the cables through and they connect right up there. Pretty self explanatory on how to get those cables out. It's pretty easy to uh, install those. Biggest thing is trying to get this mechanism opened. Uh, that's the problem I had. Hopefully, it helps you out. Uh, I'll be doing more videos on ProMaster uh, reviews, slash things to look for and any kind of troubleshooting issues you might have with them. So stay tuned to my channel and hope this helps you out. Thanks.